We got to sleep in late this morning. It's 3.42. We're about to hit the road, go up to the mountain. It doesn't look like it rained, so hopefully we get a dry run. All right, guys, it's Sunday. We made it to race day. We're here on the mountain. It was uh, it was looking kind of iffy last night. The weather was really bad. Lots of snow, ice, all that sort of stuff up top. But um, fortunately, the weather's kind of looking up right now. It sounds like there's a little bit of ice, but as soon as the sun comes out, it's going to melt it off and they're going to get crews on it. So it looks like we're going to get a full run to the top. The car's feeling good. I'm feeling good and we're, uh, we're ready to rip. So fingers crossed we get a clean run and we can actually throw down a time that's going to hopefully break that Pikes Peak open record. So, uh, Basically, we're just the last chance to shake everything down. Uh, we've already looked at it a half a dozen times, but it's just one of those race morning things, man. Just checking every fastener, looking for any kind of new leak. Um, we're uh, going to have a dry track today so we can use the regular slicks and puts a lot of load on all the fasteners. So it's uh, just doing the morning shakedown. So uh, I just got a text uh, from one of the officials, uh, no names to be disclosed, uh, and it sounds like we're going to be racing to the top, and I think it's going to be dry, so fingers crossed. Where's Steven? Uh... <laughs> we'll see you later, okay. His hair kind of looks like yours. <laughs> assessing the road right now we hope to make a final determination at by nine o'clock uh, as far as where we're, how far we're gonna run and whether we'll make it mandatory for rains or not so that's the first piece of it it takes a minute to get the juju going they said no no fire no fire well, that was kind of a bummer, but you got to follow the rules. So it doesn't so look like they're going to let us run the full mountain. They're going to stop us at 16 Mile or Devil's Playground. Uh, there's just too much ice at the top. So we're just about getting ready. Uh, the BBI car is already up in staging. So it's not going to be long and we're going to be getting ready to hit it. All right, Raphael is about to take his run. So let's watch and see how he does. The sun is still bright, but the cloud is getting lower at the top. Raphael Astier starts at the bottom in his Porsche BBI Turbo Cup. He's a French racer. So it looks like Raphael got up there in a 636, so now we got a target.
Yeah, that was awesome. Good morning. Hey. At least we Good job, Nate. Hey, oh. Good job, Patty. Woo. Hey, a finish is a finish, man. Right. We just finished up race day here at Pikes Peak. Um, we had a pretty decent run. I think we won up 12th overall, fourth in class. Not quite exactly what we wanted. We had some engine issues on the way up, but um, such is life. Pikes Peak is a monster, and it's uh, if it was easy, everybody would do it. So we're pretty happy with the result. We know we could have done better. Theoretically, we could have been second overall, but um, we made it to the top. I'm in one piece, the car's in one piece, and. Here we are, so here's the next year, the 100th running of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb and really looking forward to going out there and beating all these Porsches and exotics with the 67 Camaro, so we'll see you then. So, the day is over, we got back to Bob's shop. The, the day was a little bit interesting, and really, really super stoked. We made it to the top of the mountain. We've learned so, so much. Uh, building a car as complicated as that, we, we kind of bit off a really big bite, and we found that there's a few things that we need to tweak, but we're already making plans for next year because we feel like we'll be back bigger, better, stronger, and I'm really looking forward to it. So on to bigger and better things. And the best thing to me, the best takeaway, is that there was a lot, a lot of promise and glimmers of hope and diamonds in the data that show that this car can do so much that I just can't wait to try and get out here next year and see if we can get it to go all the way to its potential.